Hello and welcome to Art with Miss Clary. This is lesson three of the Lion Collage using recycled materials. Today you will need your artwork where you left off on the last lesson two that has your lion's mane and face in place. You will need food packaging that has words uh, cut from it. So basically you're ready to go. We've been saving these for several weeks now. You will need glue, scissors, paper towel. It's always good to have a pencil with eraser handy. Um, you may need a piece of white paper today um, with some markers or crayons in case you cannot find one of your letters to make your words out of. So, in the lesson one, we discussed the book Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. In this book, children everywhere are sharing their voice through music, art, poetry. We are going to use this book today as inspiration to add kind or positive words or short phrase to our lion collage using the process of collage. So on my finished piece, you can see where I have added hear me roar. I've added the word brave to the bottom of the paper and I've also added the word strong. I would have at least two words or one word in a short phrase on your artwork today so that way you can have at least something at the top and maybe something at the bottom or if you have more space at the bottom. So let's go back and discuss what is collage. Collage is when you assemble art using cut or torn pieces of paper. Notice I have not drawn anything on this final artwork with a pencil, crayon, marker, anything. It's totally cut out of recycled materials. And you can see here where I have cut each of these letters from food packaging. Um, but I know sometimes it's kind of hard to find all the letters. So today only, if you need to take a small piece of paper, and for instance, I can't find an R for the letter roar, then I would actually draw that letter out and then cut it out to use or to glue down into a nice little square. But you should not be writing the whole word out um, and then gluing it down. That's not collage. So this is only in case you cannot find one of the letters in the food packaging. All right, so I am going to pause here so you can go get everything you need together I have here my artwork from last two weeks in front of me. Um, you're going to see that Miss Clary has um, some green pieces glued down to the bottom and the top. Um, this was actually something I was planning on going over last week during class time, but we ran out of time. But if you don't have this, it's okay. But if you decide, oh my goodness, I definitely want to have these green pieces and I have space, then you can go back to last week and it is on the end of my YouTube video on my lesson. Uh, page so but it's not necessary a lot of you guys I'm seeing the lion's mane takes up most of the paper so I feel like it's not necessary and you're not gonna really need it so it's really your choice here so let's go ahead and get started on the words so what you want to do is have a lot of space and spread out as many of these words as possible so that way you can see what you are working with and where your letters are so you can quickly access them. Um, so I have all my words spread out. And here's my list of words. So I am using the word brave, strong, and a short phrase, hear me roar. But remember, you can do a combination of this. I would just like to see two 
Um, you can do two words. You can do one word in a short phrase. But two would be a great place to start with far as having one at the top, one at the bottom to put on your artwork. So think about what words you want to say. So I already have my list. I am going to go ahead and start looking. Let's go ahead and spell the word strong first. So I can see that I have an S here on this packaging. So watch how I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to kind of separate it from the other part of the letters. And it may be at a weird angle. That's okay. And then I'm going to clip away the extra part. I don't have to cut right up to the letter. As you can see here, I did not cut around the letter. I just kind of clipped it apart and then clipped off some of the extra. So I'm going to lay it here at the bottom move some of these up so I know I have the S ready. And now I'm gonna look for a letter T. So I have a T right here. So remember, I am spelling strong, but your words may be totally different than Miss Clary's, and that is awesome. So again, I'm gonna clip out this T, and I'm gonna lay it here next to the other letter. Uh, the S. And now I'm going to start to keep on going, spelling out my words. And I see an R right here. And I'm going to clip that out. Now remember, if you run into a situation where none of your packaging has a letter on it that you need. You can always write that one letter on a piece of paper and cut that one letter out. But we're not gonna write all the words down. So I'm gonna pretend that I could not find that R. So I'm gonna have to cut one out and put it there. All right, so strong. So I need an O, so here is an O. So I would lay the O there, and I would keep looking. I just found a N. So you just keep cutting out. You should be doing this with me, cutting out your letters. And I am looking for a G in some of my food packaging. And I see a G right here. This one may be a little tricky to cut out because it is overlapping, but you can still use it. So now I have spelled the word strong. And remember your words can be different using cut from a food packaging in. I even pretended I could not find one of the letters here. But actually, I do have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. So there we go. So what, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here, and you're going to finish cutting out everything. Remember, don't glue it down yet, because I'm gonna show you a trick here in a few minutes of how to assemble these onto your artwork. So the main thing is kind of put these out and spread them out and go ahead and stack up your words and I'm gonna pause to give you a few minutes to do this. So in this part, I'm gonna show you two ways to add your words that you've cut out onto your collage. All right, onto your piece of artwork. So I still have to cut out the word brave and hear me roar, but I wanna go ahead and lose glue down the first one so that way I don't lose all these little cut pieces. So there's two ways to add this to your artwork. The first way is that you can take it and add glue to the back of it and glue it directly onto the board if you have space. But what I'm seeing is a lot of you guys have lion's mane that goes really far out, so you don't really need a backing paper for that. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take another piece of packaging. You can use construction paper, the food packaging, and I'm going to cut myself a rectangle that I can actually glue the letters down to first. 
and I'm kind of looking at my word to see how long it is, and I'll make sure that I cut my rectangle long enough to fit the words, so the word strong. So I'm looking at this now, and I think that is plenty long enough. And after I glue the Lord down, I can go back and trim it up. So remember to open the glue bottle, you want to turn the top part right here. And remember, we're using dot, dot, not a lot. We're not going to be um, squeezing it to like a snake come out because it's wasting your glue. So I'm gonna add the glue to the back of the letter. Dot, dot, not a lot. I don't wanna overdo it because it will ooze out the sides. So I'm gluing down my first letter of my word. And remember, your words can be totally different. I'm gonna use my paper towel here in case I need it. So now I'm gonna add my next letter. And my word was, one of my words was strong. Dot, dot, not a lot. So your words can be totally different. You don't have to use the same words as Miss Clary. And look how it's really tough to get it to go next to that one. You can angle it. Or if you want to, you can just leave a little bit of space and just kind of put it straight. And so I think I'm gonna leave mine like that. So you kind of have to play with this. This is why I think gluing it to another piece of paper before you put it on your artwork is definitely the way to go. And remember your background paper can be another piece of um, packaging, food packaging, or it can be a piece of construction paper. Or if you're using the crayon colored method, you can do that. All right, here's my O. And you see here it's kind of overlapping and I can push these together closer and let the packaging overlap. I'm gonna add in, I got a tiny in. So some of your letters may be big, some may be little. And it will slide and you just kind of kind of push it back and then wipe your fingers. My G is super tiny. It's okay because we're using recycled materials and things are gonna be smaller and bigger, but I just spelled the word strong. So you have your first word. But this paper is kind of big here, this rectangle. I kind of want to trim it to fit a little bit better, but I don't want to cut it too close to the letters. So I'm just going to trim off just a little bit. I think that side's fine. And I can glue this rectangle directly onto my board. So that way, or if it has to lay on top of the lion's mane a little bit when you glue it down. But let me show you one more thing if you wanna make it fancy. You can always take this background paper and cut little triangles from it to make it look like it's the jungle. That's what I did on one of mine. Or if you would like to, you can actually take this background paper and cut straight lines. This is the easiest way. Little tiny straight clips all the way down the side and I'm gonna roll it up like it is grass. So watch around my word just a little bit. You don't wanna pull it up too hard because your word is slip or your letters are slip. But as you can see here, this is a cool way to add some dimension to your flat piece of art. But this is totally optional. You can glue down the rectangle as is so now you're going to get your artwork. I still need to trim around and figure out what I'm gonna do with the edge before I glue mine down. So I wanna finish, I think, doing some zigzags across the bottom. And I think I might do this called fringe look um, on the sides. But you have to be very careful with it when you're working with it because your letters will slip. So now you're gonna add this, you're gonna glue it down to some place on your lion collage. And remember, if your lion's mane is really long and you're out of space, you probably can just add it on right on top of the mane. Um, it can kind of hang off the paper, the, the uh, composition if you would like for it to. But now go ahead and finish adding your words onto your lion. Congratulations, guys. We just finished our collage. 
I feel really good about this because I use something that I typically put in the recycling can or throw away to repurpose it, to give it a new meaning and actually made something out of it. So I repurposed something that was really trash to create with, to create art. So as you can see here, I added my three words, but I told you you only really need to do two. You can do as many as you like. I used hear me roar, the word brave, and the word strong. I even, I'll turn this so you can see it, I even clipped some extra pieces of triangles and glued around it to make it just a little bit more fancy. I found these leaves on packaging that I cut out and glued down. I found these colored uh, rectangles to put behind my letters. So collage is really fun. I even made an explanation point using some other paper. So Hear Me Roar has an explanation point. And also guys, I create art by being inspired by a book. Artists are inspired by books, poetry, music to create every day. So we are done with our collage. As you can see here, I did not use any drawing whatsoever. It is all out of cut, recycled material. Thanks so much and see you next time.